this started off with a thought a couple uh, weeks ago, um, and that's how uh, how could we go go about quantifying our hopes and what we aspire to to be? I mean, um, we're 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 all excited about data because it tells us a little bit of, about ourselves theoretically. Um, so how could we? Uh, visualize that. Uh, what kind of re relationships or common themes could we find? I want to create a small world where you, where you could like float from one thought to to the next and discover all of these neat little interconnections. Um, and so I uh, and so then it hit me that what uh, quantifies what. What, what we aspire to be better than the mottos of our colleges and universities. Um, my second choice was using a bunch of fortune cookies, but I thought this was a little more exciting. Um, and so, uh, and so what? And so what I did was I said, "Hey, a motto is a collection of of words. You can meditate on a word, and that brings you to some kind of thought." And more importantly, you can, you can use common words to jump from one thought to the uh, to the next, and uh, and hopefully you you can find a bunch of separate uh, thoughts that eventually link back up. And so what I did was I created this this neat little D three visualization where you, where you start with uh, with some kind of word. Uh, there is a <coughs> list of words here. Uh, let's pick education. Um, and so, uh, and so you, s and so you start off there, and then uh, it shows all of the words in a in a given phrase, and you, and you can click on them to to bring up related ones linked by that. Um, and so you can keep keep on expanding it, keep on build it, building it up, um, or let's say. Uh, just just pick a bunch of other related ones. Um, uh, so so spirit. Think about spirit for a little bit, and uh, and it slowly brings up everyone who uh, who thinks about these kinds of things. And what just happened there? Was I had these two separate little floating branches uh, that sh that shared a common linkage, um, and so when you discovered that particular motto, then it linked the common ones up, and then they just float together. Um, yeah, um, and so it's a fun little toy, and so you can just uh, just keep on f finding random words. Um, and keep on exploring these until you find, um, and, and uh, or or there's no real goal. It's it's just a matter of floating from from one to the next and thinking about some interesting fit, uh, phrases. So and that's my little project I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, you can check it out on GitHub down here. Um, hope I hope you were all able to see that. It's not really all that big. Can I answer the meetup comments afterwards? Yeah. Uh, probably should <laughs> zoom that in from the beginning. But yeah. Check it out. Awesome. All right, so while, while he's getting that ready, I'll just tell you uh, I, I spent the last six months writing some, uh, some full stack JavaScript. So I have a Mongo database. A Node front end uh, with Express on the uh, you know running on Node, and I'm um, you know popping up web pages, and uh, my my project was to uh, create a, a JSON versioner, so I have all my strategy for a new project in a JSON document, uh, in a JSON object, and as I iterate on it, I make new changes to it, I just create new versions. Of it. It's like I I follow the GitHub model, so we have commits. You know, as you as you go into this, you uh, oops, there we go. You do a commit. So this is all running on Heroku. You're all familiar with that. How do I get this a little bit bigger? Um, do I probably if you. Uh, oops. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Turn it up a little bit. Try that. Physical zoom. 
There's not really. <laughs> it's like a nineteen dollar webcam. All right. Well, you get the idea. So anyway, so I have a my my original document. I call it an archive, and it's called this. Land, it's a landing page for one of my clients, and uh, and the first time around, I did a little test page for him, and uh, during that on that test page, I ended up going through, you know, uh, nine different commits. So I kept, you know. What was happening was I was having trouble figuring out <laughs> what was going on because I had so many different versions of this document. So by doing this, that gave me a chance to go back in and select one and start to manipulate. So in this case, I could make a new iteration from one of my old versions. So that's the general idea. The, the code that I used here, um, let me cancel that because I don't really want to make a new version, a new iteration right now. Um, the code I'm using for this is the, the D3 tree layout. So it's all very simple. I borrowed that the layout that's on the, you know. I mean, basically everything I did, I borrowed, right? Because that's how it works. Um, but I, I used the, lay, the tree layout, and I've been using some other things in D3. And, and I would have tried to get something together for you guys today, but I'm actually really slow with, <laughs> with some of the things. I'm, I'm still learning it. So thank you. Yeah, thanks for sharing.